Hi, folks. Basil Chapman here. This is the Friday, last day of the week, uh, trading day. It's the options uh, third Friday of the week, trading day. And we're looking at the Dow. Oops, let me just get there. I had a couple of questions. There we go. And the Dow is down 227, making a lower low. It's gone. I've been speaking about this lowercase h pattern. Takes out the left side low. They're very weak. In fact, the nine is just very close to turning below the 14, but we'll see what happens um, uh, over the weekend going into Sunday. You're looking at the S&P a little bit weak, not much. It's down just $2 at 47.02, very close to the all-time high, making this rectangle formation. Very often what you do in the rectangle formation, you see a pop to the upside above it, and then it comes back in, and that's the big test. How does it hold when it comes back in? Look at the QQQ being the leader. The QQQ, one, two, three, there we go. Uh, Doji candle today in a leg D. We're going to be watching this very closely. It's up to uh, 13 and 4, 3.87, all time high. SMHs, that's the semiconductor, helped making an all time high today of 312.86. There's a leg F. We're going to be watching to see if there's any pullback coming this, this week. You've got the IWM, very weak, like the Dow. Uh, it's down uh, 1.12 at 233. Big thing here is that gold is holding very nice, and it is a Friday. Gold is holding well. It's unchanged right now. It's in that pattern. I spoke about it earlier. And crude oil has been continuing to pull back. We spoke about this weeks ago, said crude oil is making some kind of a top that is going to go from a short term and maybe even more intermediate term, and that's kind of what we're looking at. Bonds are holding up. I never had a chance in my show the target conditions out to talk about it, but I will talk about it this afternoon when I do the Tom O'Brien show at 3 o'clock Eastern time. I'm, I'm, I'm the guest host. Today, uh, Tom is away. So I'm going to be talking about this. I'm going to be talking about the relationship between the weak Dow and the IWM and the stronger QQQ and SMHs and semiconductors, what you can possibly expect going through. And uh, one other thing I wanted to mention is you've got Larry Pesavento coming up. Should be a wonderful show as always. Then Think or Swim. You've got uh, we've got uh, Steve Rose. It was recorded at 8. I'll be replayed at uh, uh, straight off the line. Then you've got you've got uh, Dave White, and then I'll take over at 3 p.m. to do the Tom O'Brien show. So good programming. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, we're waiting for the little music to come, and we're going to yeah, for a change. We're not talking through the music. There it is. So have a wonderful day. Hope to see you in a few hours' time. The market really interesting. What happens going into the close today, especially with options expiration, and the. Um, the bill is being passed, has to go to the Senate. And you've got the Fed, maybe a new Fed. Wow, a lot going on. Stay tuned. Great programming. See you a little later.